Two details tonight on the Paw Sox push for a new stadium in Pawtucket. Today, proponents of a bill to use taxpayer dollars to help build a new stadium in Pawtucket say the public is on their side. Iowa Dissu supporter Steve Nielsen was there as they released results of a new poll. He joins us now live in studio with the new details. Steve. Well, Mike, this all comes down to whether or not the deal to build a new stadium would pay for itself. Opponents say that's no sure thing. The debate has raged for years. Should taxpayers help the Paw Sox stay in Pawtucket? Monday morning, results of a new poll commissioned by supporters of the plan, Build RI, showed Rhode Islanders support building a new stadium with some taxpayer dollars, but only if the stadium will pay for itself over time. Let's get to where we need to get and keep the Pawtucket Red Sox in Pawtucket where they belong. A bill to build an $83 million ballpark on the old Apex site would have the team pay $45 million, while the state pays $23 million and the city $15 million. Being told the park would pay for itself, 56% of voters supported the bill, 40% opposed, and 4% were unsure. It's, it's, it's a bogus and slanted question. You can't ask it that way. RIGOP Chairman Brandon Bell says the assumption the park would pay for itself, though, is wrong. Everybody wants a Paw Sox to stay, but we can't go into the if you build it, they will come. Uh, it's just not, it's not the way it's been. Look at McCoy 75 years later. You know, if you build it, they will come. They didn't come. Build RI Vice Chairman Michael Sabatoni disagrees, saying the House needs to act before the team leaves for Worcester. Because it'd be a real shame years from now to continue to drive by that apex site and think about what could have been. So with some vision and courage, we can change that, change that dynamic around. A Paw Sox spokesperson thanked Build RI for the poll and said it reaffirms what they have found as well. The speaker, also not surprised by the poll, telling me, quote, the numbers only rise when prompted with assumptions that are speculative at best and are presented in the most favorable light to the proponents of the proposal. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steve. Fleming and Associates also conducts polls for Eyewitness News. The stadium survey was commissioned by Build RI.